guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Mickey, and I'm back with another video. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing some um, crochet dreads. This package I received from Extreme Hair. Haven't opened it yet or seen what inside of it, but I do know what it's supposed to look like. But supposedly you get extra stuff in it. I'm not sure yet, but if you want to see how I install this here, stay tuned for the video. Okay guys, this is what my parts are look like. I did a whole bunch of small squares because I wanted it to be full and nice and thick and not like look too thin and the parts being too big up in braids. So, we're gonna open her up and see what all we got inside. restore your hair because you do know you can like reuse this hair. You can restore your hair back in the package just how it came open. And then I think it came with silk so oh, I didn't know that they have those in there. Okay well my bad. You get a I actually didn't have one. I just thought about that. You get a crochet needle. So I'm just going to voice over this part. I was just basically saying that you get beads in here as well to decorate or accessorize your hair with. And you get six packs of hair and each pack has 21 strands. So that's four in my hand right there. And there's two more in the bag. Two more. So you get six packs and each pack has 21 strands. So in total, 126 strands of hair so as you can see this is way more than enough hair to complete your look Okay, so I just wanted to pop back on real quick and show you guys my process of where I've gone so far. So far, I've only used two packs. This is only two packs of the hair so far. And I still have one, two, three, four left. Because remember, it was six. So as you can see, it's already looking full. It's not too thin, so it's not going to look like all singled out. Once everything is done, this is how much I have left in the top going to show you guys the back. Make sure you can see really good. After struggling for like a couple seconds, I finally figured out what I was doing wrong because it's my first time installing, installing my bad crochet or any type of um, like crochet hair, dreads, braids, you know, especially single like part yeah, except for the ones because a lot of people they do theirs on like cornrows and I didn't want mine to look like that so that's why I did mine so basically I'm gonna like show y'all how I do one now that I'm like at the front where you can really see good because I wasn't doing it right <laughs> I tried like all methods that I see on social, on social media, on YouTube, everywhere, and none of those methods was working for me. So I'm going to show you guys the method that I use. I don't know if this is already a method. I'm not going to claim this method, but this is what I do. I'm going to call this method the wrap and tuck method because that's basically what I'm doing. So basically, now that's like I'm like 
perfect um, and boy you can see it. I just take one of the rings, one of the little twisties, and <laughs> at first I was putting it on there first and wondering why it wouldn't go through. That's because you're supposed to do this first. You put it through there, and you let it hang, and you get your little hair just like this, and you figure out what end it is, which end is the um, end that has like the little opening. They're usually tied already, so you kind of gotta unravel it for a little bit to really, you know, because these are really, these are like the really tight ones, and you could extend the, um, the 18th inch to be 36, so do that. I'm gonna get closer so you can see, and then you put it on the hook like that, and you close it just like so, and then pull it through the braid. And once you pull it through the braid, you can take that off. And you're gonna open this really good so you can um, put both pieces of hairs through it and tighten it. Tighten both of them. And then you could take the hair, your braid, and tighten that down on the, the hair so it looks like it's really coming from the scalp. After you do that, you're gonna get your little comb and you're gonna comb this out, your hair out. So make sure you do your hair sections and twist because braids are gonna be a little bit harder to do or don't twist it at all. And then you're gonna just wrap this around, wrap it around the hair. Just wrap it, wrap it. You don't want to twist it, you know? You want to wrap it this way. You don't want to twist it, because then if you twist it, it's going to look like you just twisted hair. It's not going to look like a dread. And then it's going to look weird. And then you're going to hold where you stop that. And if you have longer hair, <laughs> you're going to be wrapping for a while. And then you just basically get the crochet needle and just pull it in and out of the, um, the crochet hair. So... This is almost like you're locking dreads. No, you can get your hair back out of it. It's not going to be hard to get your hair back out of it. Um, I already tried one. If you want me to have a video of me taking it out so you can see how I take it out. But as you can see, guys, it looks very natural. You can't really tell. It looks like it's coming from the scalp. It blends perfectly with my hair. And don't worry if you have like straight hair texture, it doesn't matter what hair texture you have, it, it will still blend with the hair. But as you can see, it looks really nice and natural, but I'm going to go ahead and do the top of my head with the rest of these. I have only used two packs of hair so far, and I'll be back when I get the rest of the hair put on there. And then I'm going to show you how I twist them all up in speed time, quick, fast, and whatever you want to call it. So real quick guys, I wanted to pop back in and show you guys how far I've gotten. As you can see, I only used three packs so far. I have three packs left and this is how good it looks. It looks really full. It's not too thin, not too thick. Perfect amount. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap these ones that I have in the top on the hook and I'll be back.
So guys, this is the finished product. Uh -huh. Getting to it. Yes, baby. Looks so nice, so natural. So beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye.